Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to all my realtors out there and give you five tips on how to utilize ChatGPT as a realtor. First off, if you haven't heard of ChatGPT, pause this video, go Google ChatGPT, check it out for a little bit and come back because I'll give you five great tips. I think this is an awesome AI software that we can use and, and capitalize on as realtors and at least use to just help us with some day-to-day -day stuff or just make us a little bit more efficient. So with that being said, I'd like to dive right into it. Okay guys, up first is our bio. So you kind of have to learn how to talk to ChatGPT as well. Um, what I like is I've done some research on it and I've tested it and uh, basically I found that uh, it works really well as when you say you'd like to act as a real estate agent, you'd like to write this for me. So I went up, literally just said, I want you to write me a bio for Roy LaChapelle, real estate agent in Burlington, Ontario. And this is what it spit out. It's pretty accurate. Um, there is there are some discrepancies so you do most uh chat gpt uh texts and conversations it gives you you have to go through it and tweak it a little but basically it looks like what it did was take all of my reviews from google i believe and uh, and kind of put them together into this great little bio now it says a uh, highly experienced reputable agent based in burlington ontario with over a decade of experience i've only been in the industry for about six years so that is just something I would just need to change. Um, he's got a deep understanding of the local real estate market. Um, it, it really good, like well-worded, excellent communication skills. Uh, I could even add a couple, just maybe more personal items in there. Um, just, you know, golfing, hockey, little things I like to do. But this is such a cool, such a cool thing. And I've, I've definitely utilized this, I'm not going to lie, as a bio now on my website and, and uh, other things. So that's the first one which is unreal. I love that idea. Second one I want to talk to you about is listing descriptions. So we all hate writing listing descriptions. It's such a pain. I think just thinking of the right words to use and not using the word large or huge or beautiful or updated, renovated, lovely renovated way too much. So what I've done is I've, I've put into chat GPT here. I want you to act as a real estate agent Write me a description for a new home you have coming up for sale at, I used a home that's just up for sale in the mark, in our market, 5856 Blue Spruce Avenue, Burlington, Ontario. And again, it wrote me this amazing uh, listing description. Um, now again, not everything's accurate. I did look through it and, and there are things you do need to tweak, but at least it gives you kind of the structure. So you can take the structure, change out maybe the bedrooms or the bathrooms if it is wrong, uh, attach garage, um, but just different things. And you can add in a couple things too. add in maybe up, uh, just any renovations in the year they were done, but such a cool idea, guys. Like this took me, it took about 10 seconds for ChatGPT to write this up after typing in what I wanted it to do. So just, I don't know, such a cool concept can really save us a lot of time and, and take these little mundane things out of our tasks that we have to do. Um, which, which is great. I think, um, it can, it can really save us a lot of time in that sense. So that's number two. Number three, marketing material. So I'm going to do this live with you. Um, basically, what I'm going to say is I want you to um, act. I always say this as a real estate agent. I want you to act as a real estate agent and um, write me a um, letter that I will hand out to the uh my neighborhood um wishing uh everyone a happy new year we'll keep it simple let's see what it does <laughs> so you can see how quickly it does it too i mean you know give it literally 10 to 15 seconds and it'll come up with something but as you can see it's already typing uh it, it really just it's it's anytime you kind of need copyright. I think the wording that ChatGPT uses, obviously from all the information it's collected, uh, the wording that it uses is very professional, very elegant, and uh, and a nice nice flow to it. Um, but I mean, you can see right here, even it even throws in as your local real estate agent. I've had the privilege of working with many of you to buy and sell homes. Um, <laughs> you know, like. Uh, firsthand, the love and care that goes into each and every one of our properties. It's a true honor to be such a part of a wonderful neighborhood. Like how amazing is that? So cool. So 
Uh, I love that. I think uh, it's it's done such an amazing job. It even included a PS. If you want to know more about the market trends in your area or need a professional opinion, please don't hesitate to reach it. Like, unreal. Unreal. So I love this. I have been using it. I'm not going to lie. I've been using it for uh, everything like this. Everything like this. So that is number three. Step number four that you can utilize ChatGPT for as a realtor is tweets and social media content or at least copyright. So I want you to act as a real estate agent. Um, write me up five tweets um, regarding um, real estate and the housing market. Let's just keep it again, keep it kind of simple and you can really dive into this. I think when you, when you get more in depth about your questions or your, your prompts to, to chat GPT, it actually produces some really high level, um, in depth results for you. So again, it, it's sort of giving me, I just wanted it to write up five tweets that I can take and maybe just tweak it a little bit, but there you go. You got five tweets right here. I can post all of these today at different times and schedule the posts. Like it's so, it's so amazing. Um, you know, housing markets heating up. Uh, now is a great time to list your property, blah, blah, blah. So only thing about this is the housing market is not heating up. We are in a little bit of a shift here in this market with interest rates have gone up and house prices coming down. So ChatGPT doesn't recognize that being only updated until 2021. So again, just a couple flaws with it that they're going to tweak in the future, but this is such a great way you can you can generate five tweets right here just like that uh, as as ChatGPT acting as a real estate agent and number five actually utilizing ChatGPT to help you with creating content. So what I did was I wanted to create a video to post on my social media about inflation and. I did some, I kind of wanted to just find some maybe three main talking points about inflation. And so what I did was I went into chat GPT and nobody like people have a hard time understanding what inflation is. And I wanted to explain it to people in a simple way. So I said, can you explain inflation to me? Like I'm a fifth grader and it really did explain inflation at a very simple level, which was cool, which then gave me the content to then create the video. And I literally took this, tweaked it a bit, of course, but basically it gave me the main structure for my video about inflation and just such a cool idea utilizing it to help create content for us as well. Well, there you go, guys. Those are five tips that you as a realtor can utilize ChatGPT for. I think it's pretty amazing. I think this is really just, we're really just scraping the surface of what ChatGPT can do. Play around with it. And like I said, the more in-depth you get with it and the more detailed you get with uh, your prompts and questions you ask it, the more detail it will give you in its answers. So very cool tool. I'm very excited to play around with this more throughout the year and see what else we can do with it. Maybe I'll make a video, a second video uh, with five other things we can do. But as for now, there are five quick tips to utilize ChatGPT. So get out there, go crush it, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment below with a thumbs up or, or a little... Uh, Fun fact that you learned uh, that you're going to take away from this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Now go out there and crush your real estate business. Uh, if you guys want to check out more videos on my channel, I do also do my Hidden Gem series. Uh, and I do a lot of short form uh, YouTube shorts as well. But my Hidden Gem series, uh, you can basically check out. I, I interview local businesses and, and showcase some pretty cool stuff. People are loving it. Just another tip for you to do as a realtor. So go check them out. And thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon.